and welcome back to the Glimmer Witch. I'm sorry that I've been away so long. Um, things were a bit manic. But anyway, this is the lovely Sophie. Um, Sophie has beautiful nail beds. Love doing her nails. And um, she's coming today for a redesign. She's having something quite simple because um, she's having Disney nails for her next set. And um, we decided to go for a beautiful green. So I have taken back her acrylic to a thin layer. I haven't gone all the way back to the clear. I don't need to because of the design we're doing. So I'm coming in on that previous white finger and redoing it white. And we are gonna be doing a Sharpie marble on this finger. So I think I'm using my size 12. My size 12 Tracy Lou brush. I love it just as much as the size 10. I do. I've used it on infills. I've used it on a full set. Um, obviously, holds more liquid. Pick up a bigger bead. And I think I'm ready for that now. So anyway, we are laying this white acrylic. This is coconut milk from CJP. And um, I'm just getting it as neat as I can. I'm not going to cap it because it is a strength powder and um, I'm just making sure I've got my apex where I want it, that I've got the shape that I want and then I will move on to the other fingers. So I've been a little bit absent. Um, my anxiety and depression hasn't been great the last few, few weeks. Um, I think probably Christmas half killed me but um, you know I'm battling through and then we've come back off the holiday and we have decided it is time to put our house on the market so I've been trying to get the house ready for that as well so unfortunately I haven't had time not just to film but to to edit it and everything you know I've been quite tired so that's why I've been absent but I am back now um, and this does happen from time to time I'm not going to lie about it you know it is the nature of my my health problems but moving on we are back today Sophie is having khaki by CJP which is a beautiful glittery green and bizarrely I did two green sets yesterday which is unusual but anyway um, so we decided both hands are different but I just showed this hand so this khaki color is a beautiful cover which is why I haven't taken the acrylic right back I don't need to paint it on like you would a gel polish works exactly the same way so we're building that color up we're making sure we get the coverage where we want it making sure the edges are covered making sure it's nice and smooth and once I am happy with the color application I then cap in clear just to give me my apex and my shaping as you know I do like to have a nice domed look when I'm doing um, almond nails on this middle finger we are using perfect peach and uh, from CJP as usual and if you know from using this product it's one of the trickier ones to work with I find it easier to work a little bit wetter and uh, a little bit smaller be beads and build it up um, that works for me I've seen other nail techs use it much drier than this and one bead so um, you know work with it how it works for you it is just for the design I'm not you know necessarily building strength with this however I don't cap it because it is a strength powder it is a core powder and I was relatively confident that I could shape this without taking that color away this set was um, a design by me um, it was one of those where she came and said I don't care what you do I, I want green do whatever you like. So I decided to do the Sharpie Marble because it's been very popular. I did three last week and it's a very, very simple and effective way to use Sharpie pens to give you a really nice design. I don't own alcohol inks as of yet. Um, this is a close second. So that's what I've used instead. And I love it, love the effect. So again, using that dark green, we also do the thumb in the same color. And again, I am painting that color on like a gel polish. I am then capping it in clear. I haven't left all the filing in on this one because I went out of shot on a couple of them. I did set the camera up quite hastily. Please, 
please ignore my nails. I redesigned them in a beautiful set of colours and then I knocked one of the pots off and lost it all and I never filed them, never filed them into shape. This is how the acrylic was laid and um, now because we're going to be selling um, I need to cut them down anyway. I need to go short for a bit so um, yeah that will be happening at some point. I will say the two colours on braid beautifully until I drop the pot. Not unusual for me, I am clumsy. I'm very clumsy. I currently have a lifted index finger on my other hand. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me for coughing. I could go back and um, edit that out. I probably won't. Um, yeah, I, I smacked the end of my index finger when I was cleaning cupboards out. Um, so it's lifted, so it's quite painful. It needs to come off. Um, I am clumsy. I knock stuff over all the time. All the time. Um, so underneath this piece of paper, I do actually have the Cuckoo dust extractor. Um, I did do a video um, trying it when I was taking my hand off, but ended up not using it. So um, I will, as soon as I get a redesign, I will film that and do a review on the Cuckoo dust extractor. So I'm just coming in and filing. I don't leave all the filing in. It's pretty simple. Sidewall, sidewalls, free edge. I'm using a brand new file for that. And then I come in with a softer file to do it around the cuticles, an older file, should I say. It's pretty simple. So we get them all shaped. And then once they're all shaped and they're buffed, I then top coat them all. And that just makes it easier to disperse that Sharpie. You could use base coat. Um, I didn't, I just used CJP's Tack Free Top Gloss. Because it's no wipe and it gives me a nice slippy um, surface to do the Sharpie marble on, which I found works better than just doing it straight on top of the acrylic. So it's my normal filing routine. The whole video is sped up. If only I could file this fast. I have noticed in um, since just before Christmas that I am actually a lot quicker on sets now. It normally, Sophie normally has quite detailed sets. So we normally allow about three hours because we, you know, she has a lot of different things. And this one we did in two. So, um, yeah, I am getting quicker. Does that mean I'll squeeze more clients in? Hell no. Although I did do four yesterday, but I did three gel polish sets, which is unusual for me. So um, I did manage to get four in yesterday. This week is fairly packed. Next week, got hardly anything. It is the nature of the business. But that's good, because if we're going to, you know, we're looking at a house, a couple of houses on Thursday. If we're going to be moving, I've got packing to do, so I'll have time to get stuff done. So I apologise for going out of shot on this filing. I left it in. I just thought, why not? You can see that white nail, though, coming into shape nicely there. So once we are done, yeah. I go in and I top coat all of the nails with CJP's Tack Free Top Gloss into the lamp for 60 seconds um, to cure and then they come out and we then start on that Sharpie. So I am using Sharpie pens. I bought them in a sale, WH Smiths, for about £8 for 24 I think, 24 or 30 can't remember off the top of my head and the plan is we are doing a full marble finger on that white finger and on that nude I'm gonna do a swoosh across I've seen it done with acrylic and striping tape you all know by now did you see me drop that lid on her finger I'd never be able to do that if I tried it again um, yeah um, I have seen it done in marble with striping tape you all know I hate striping tape I don't do it if anyone wants striping tape they get told no and I paint it because um, I hate the stuff. I cannot work with it. I'm too impatient to faff with little bits of bloody tape trying to stick it down with nail glue or cap it in clear and it not peel off. Yeah, I haven't got time for that. So I started off using two different coloured greens. I gave up on that because the other green was too far. And you literally scribble on the nail in patches. So I start using the, you, you can't see it, so I chuck it to one side and we don't bother. I then come in with a grey 
just to give it a little bit of a background and then black so with the black you want to create those veins I then use a small brush cheap brush and isopropyl alcohol um, and you just disperse and the good thing with the black lines is you can push them around you can push that that out to where you want it to go you see what I mean it's very simple and there's no right or wrong way you just play with it until you're happy until it gives you the effect that you want you can add more color in I go back in a minute and add some more green in because I had quite a bare patch at that top bit the other finger actually came out better so yeah you just use your your wet brush with the eye set just to yeah just to spread it really works exactly the same way as alcohol ink but you just got a little bit more control I loved how these turned out for such a simple method it was just beautiful so once I am happy with my marble I then use the gold acrylic paints from CJP and my line it fine brush to put in some gold veining which um, I thought made this set because we're going to be using that instead of striping tape so on this middle finger great big green blob right across and then black blob and then we're going to disperse that so as you can see I'm just dabbing that brush with the alcohol on it I am cleaning up the edges as I go because I want this to be in a stripe you just move it you just it's just so easy so lovely for those people who don't know what they want and honestly my client looked at me like I'd gone mad as if you know why the hell are you scribbling on my nails so I'm just using that gold paint from CJP to outline that edge instead of using striping tape it would look beautiful with striping tape or maybe even um, gold flakes you know um, so once we've done float that top coat over I put get them to put their lamp in their pans in the lamp to help it dry but float that first top coat on and then you top coat again into the lamp for 60 seconds that is your finished set I've left you a photo at the end thank you for watching guys hopefully I'll be back soon bye bye